Should you invest in crypto cloud mining services? There's some things to take into consideration when you're thinking about doing something like investing in crypto cloud mining services. The first thing is that most of these most of these vendors that offer this service, they're either really poorly ran companies or they are potentially just scams from the get go. Having done some research on it and also having my own cloud mining crypto services for about the last year and a half, ever since about June of 2023, today being January 21st, 2024, so having the services for about 18 months now with at least one company, I can tell you that I have received precisely nothing, nothing at all, except for excuses. Like you, you contact their support and they say, oh, you know, you're earning what you should be earning. Or you go to make a withdrawal and then they say, well, you know, you, uh, you don't have enough to withdraw yet even though you have, you know, eight, 10 times as much as a minimum withdrawal limit. Then they say, oh, well, yeah, you know, your crypto is, is locked up for another few months when their terms of service clearly indicate that your crypto should no longer be locked up at all. And it's not just me using one company. That was Crypto at Cost, by the way, which you can check it out at cryptoatcost.com. Right now, they're currently trying to encourage people to mine Bitcoin after joining their mining pool, which I really wouldn't recommend doing because when you do something like that, your crypto goes into somebody else's custodial wallet and then you have to trust them to allow you to withdraw your crypto. And now you're flipping the bill for the miner and the electricity. So I wouldn't do that. From what I have researched and from the things that I have read and the, the YouTube videos that I have watched, most crypto cloud mining services, you're probably gonna get nothing. Doesn't matter if you spend $100, $1,000, $10,000, it doesn't matter. You're going to be left basically penniless as far as your investment. And the ones that are more reputable, if you can call them that, you get, you, you might get what you ex kind of expect to get because when you run a miner, you know, if a miner costs you $5,000 to, to actually buy a miner, I'm not talking about crypto cloud mining services, I'm talking about actually buying a miner. You know, you're not going to mine $5,000 of crypto in a month. In fact, you're not going to mine $5,000 worth of crypto in a year with that miner. So if you pay for hash rate and let's say you have a three-month lease on your, your cloud mining services, you're not ever going to come anywhere near the same value that you put into it on the way back out. So if you spend $1,000, you know, you'd be lucky to get $300 worth of crypto back out. Crypto cloud mining services, they're, they're definitely not something that I recommend to do. If you want Bitcoin, go buy some Bitcoin. If you want some Caspa, go buy some Caspa. You know, if, if you really have a driving need to explore crypto cloud mining, I can't stop you. But it's literally, if you're lucky, if you're really lucky, it's literally the same thing as you giving me $1,000 and then every month for the next three months, I'll give you $100 worth of crypto. In fact, some of the ones that are supposedly legitimate probably do exactly that like they probably don't even have miners because why bother i and, and i'm not saying that that's the way they all work i'm just saying i wouldn't be surprised if there's at least a few that actually do that you know rather than leasing space to set up miners buy miners 
you know, configure the miners, monitor and maintain the miners, pay for electricity to run the miners, you know, rather than do all of that, it's far simpler to just take in money from you and then disperse a little bit of crypto over time. And how would you even really know the difference? Like, it's, it's not like you go on the internet and you sign up for a cloud crypto mining service and then, you know, a couple days later, they get in touch with you to schedule a walkthrough of their mining farm, right? <laughs> or, or you could say like, well, but they have pictures. A picture is meaningless, you know, unless you have some sort of proof that the picture that they are showing you is in fact their mining farm, which I can't imagine how they would prove that. It, it, it means nothing to be shown a picture. So, and look, those of you that are really interested in investing $1,000 for crypto cloud mining services, tell you what, get in touch with me, give me your $1,000, and every month on the first of the month, I'll be sure to send you $100 worth of Satoshis, which would be Bitcoin. Or if you prefer, I'll, I'll send you, you know, some ETH. Or some, uh, I, I don't know, whatever it is that you might want. Because that's literally what you are doing when you're paying for cloud crypto mining services. You're giving somebody $5 so that they give you 50 cents back or 25 cents back. So is crypto cloud mining services worth it? Absolutely not. You definitely should not be doing that. And it, it's really just that simple. Um, I have some videos on the channel where I talk about my experiences with crypto at cost. So as it stands, I've probably invested about $5,000 which that's, you know, that's on me. I learned the hard way. There's always the remote possibility that I'll get something back, but I very seriously doubt that I will at this point. Um, on top of all that, they actually owe me like four or $5,000 worth of what they call their CCT token. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to say a whole lot about crypto at cost because I'll just go on a rant and, uh, and I'll just start talking for the next 20 minutes. And this video really doesn't need to be that long just to address the question, should you invest in crypto cloud mining services? And the answer to that is definitely no. Uh, 